in Genesis chapter 32 for the blessing of God. But there was a there was an impediment in his life. God said, I can't bless you the way you are. You must change your position. You must change your class. If you want the blessing, then you must change your class. There was a man in John chapter 3. They call his name Nicodemus. This is not church. This is not religion. Nicodemus was in a position of a deacon. He was a leader. He was an elder in the church. So this thing has nothing to do with position. But he does not have this new life that we are talking about. He went to meet with Jesus. He saw the signs and miracles. He heard the testimonies. And he said, what shall I do? Jesus said, except, there is no any other way. You change your position. Except a man be born again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again. He cannot. Verse B, he cannot. There is no divine visitation except you are born again. Nicodemus, as an elder, does not understand. So you may be here this morning. Maybe you even joined the church. 1998. Attending church services is not the same thing as having a new birth experience. <laughs> Attending programs does not equate to receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. It's two different things. As soon as he accepted Jesus, then everything changed. There was another man in Acts chapter 10. Cornelius, very zealous. He was a giver. In fact, the Bible says that he was a righteous man. <laughs> but he has no experience of new birth. He was fasting. He was praying. Doing every covenant details. Practicing covenant details does not make you experience new birth. Paying your tithe is good. Giving offering. Belonging to a department does not equate